What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. I think this is going to be another Blitz review. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how much I have to say about this fragrance. So the title will reflect it if it is. So, you know, I'm not planning on it. We'll just see what it comes out to be. Today I got a short little review for you of a beautiful spring and summertime fragrance. I'm trying to sneak this one in before we're straight up into the fall weather. It is technically fall now, at least here in the northern hemisphere but things are still a little bit warm out so you can get away with these fresher scents and i really wanted to shed some light on one i just got a decant of reason i only have a decant is because it's really expensive uh, this comes from the house of zerjoff which is an italian house and this is 1861 renaissance now i've seen some other reviewers talk about this one i got really curious people were saying it's a citrusy fresh fragrance and it has amazing performance and those two things coming together kind of blew my mind so i really wanted to get my nose on it got a sample and i'm blown away by this stuff this is a beautiful scent came out in 2011 it's one of three i believe in this line of the zerjoff fragrances the other two being naxos and zephyro so to put it simply what i get out of this i get a lot of mint mint is definitely at the forefront really this cooling freshness to the scent that just kind of rides over the top i get quite a bit of citrus i know there's lemon in there that might be bergamot wouldn't be surprised i know as we get into the heart there's some floral nature i know rose is pretty prominent and as we get down into the base you get a lot of musk and patchouli and even amber and it has this richness to it it's not just green citrusy fresh there's the sweet kind of almost resinous nature to it not really like powerhouse in your face resinous but there's a, again this kind of rich sweetness uh, that is present throughout the fragrance even from the top now funny thing is when I first smelled it I smelled it from here which was a mistake because it kind of threw me off honestly when you smell it from the atomizer it reminds me of like a sweet lemon lime soda like almost like you're smelling sprite or something like that so i smelled that i'm like uh okay let's see what this thing smells like on skin put it on in fact let's get a let's get a fresh spray on the hand this is my scent of the day but here we go all right wow yeah citrus mint kind of sweet very invigorating very powerful and as the reviewer said with this stuff having great performance that is no lie this thing the longevity i get at least eight to ten hours which again is ridiculous for a fresh fragrance now the base notes that it contains i think really are what allow it to have some holding power that amber that musk i know there's even cedar wood in the base and even the patchouli as well those are heavier molecules that are going to stick around a little bit longer and allow the fragrance to be present a little bit longer <sighs> just really uplifting now in terms of projection this thing is flying off of your skin for a good while. I'm talking about at least three or four hours, you're gonna smell it around you easily. Other people are going to smell it around you easily. Great sillage, like I said, great projection. Really, really impressive for a fresh fragrance like this. Now to put it simply, I haven't gotten any compliments with it. I actually haven't really worn it all that much since I've gotten it. I've only had this sample for maybe three weeks to a month. I've worn it a handful of times, including today. I'm about to go run some errands here, so we'll see what happens. But I know people can smell it because, again, this thing pushes out really well, and it's a very pleasant scent. Now, it is marketed as a unisex fragrance, and I would definitely agree with that. It has tendencies of both. You have this kind of like sweet floral nature to it that a woman could easily pull off, but then you have that musky woodiness and the patchouli as well that really kind of make it a little bit more masculine too so it rides the line very well it's a well balanced scent and it is kind of a quintessential unisex fragrance both sexes can definitely pull this off no problem so to be honest with you that's all i really have to say about 1861 renaissance from zerjoff again beautiful fresh fragrance that minty opening uh, with the citrus you got some richness in there with the amber and the musk and the woodiness and the patchouli and the dry down it lasts a long time on the skin again eight to ten hours it projects really well and it's a it's unisex both sexes can pull this off no problem that sounds like a winning combination to me the only thing that's missing this fifth prong is the price 
Again, I don't I haven't even looked at the prices recently, but I don't think you're looking to pay less than 200 bucks for maybe 50 to 100 mils of this. I really don't know. I haven't looked at it, so don't quote me on that, but I know it ain't cheap and it's it might be something that's worth it for me. I might look into a partial bottle later on if I do end up finishing this thing, maybe for the next uh, spring and summer season. But anyway, I highly recommend you sample it, get your nose on it. It's fairly unique. It's very pleasant. It hits all the marks, basically, as a scent. So that's Zerzhoff 1861 Renaissance. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Whatever you're doing, I hope you enjoy your day. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,